Okay, so I have not made a video on Halo in a very long time. And there's something called Halo the Series Season 2. I didn't even know there was a Season 1. But uh, this was made by Paramount. And really, Halo has been dead since, since Halo Reach. Let's be real. Halo 4 sucked. Halo 5 sucked. Um, the series sucks. The movie sucked. Okay, let's be real. Um, Halo Infinite bombed. There's no redeeming qualities in Halo. Even the, the expanded universe of Halo just doesn't make any sense anymore. It used to be consistent under Bungie, but now it's just a mess written by incompetent hacks that have no idea what they are doing. But anyway, I'm still shocked. There's still some people. This has 500,000 views in six hours, which is pretty good. So there's still some idiots that are invested in the Halo universe. In my opinion, I think people should boycott the current management of the Halo franchise. They need to go back to their roots. There's no redeeming this. The more you throw money at this disaster, which is Halo the worse it will get. People of Reach. I bring you blessings. What kind of CGI? The CGI in Halo Reach, not Halo Reach, but Halo, uh, what was it called? Halo Wars looked better than the CGI in this show. Literally, look at the cutscenes in Halo Wars and they look better than the CGI in this. That looks so fake. I bring you blessings. Know that I have been driven of your extinction. Know that I am. You cannot even hear what the heck they're saying. Like, what are they saying? They're just whispering. Oh, duh, duh, duh. Just whispering in a British accent is not acting. Okay, can we please stop calling whispering in a British accent acting? It's lazy. No, bro. No, that's so lame and corny and lazy. Okay, let's let's get some better writing and some better direction for the Halo franchise. Look at the old Halo Wars cutscenes and they're infinitely, literally infinitely better than anything current day the, the current management of Halo has put out, okay, it made way more sense. The old Halo storylines, now it's just, oh, it doesn't even make any sense. It's like a generic sci-fi story written by, like, a college intern. It's not actually impressive at all, at all. The most generic storyline you could possibly imagine. Look how dark everything is. You know, I understand it's supposed to be like apocalyptic, but it's obvious they're just doing that to hide the bad CGI. There's no excuse to make your your scene this dark to the point where you can't see anything. You can't see anything. There's nothing here. There's there's nothing. It's so lazy. Sometimes events are beyond our control. And in those moments, we save what we can. Could you imagine watching this on a TV screen and trying to hear what the heck they're saying? You would not be able to hear it. You'd have to constantly fiddle with the value. One second, they're whispering 
um you can't hear what they're saying so you turn the volume up then the next scene they freaking show a, a action scene that's blasting blaring loudly and then you have to turn it down then you have to constantly don't, don't you guys hate that how people don't actually manage their audio or mix the audio down properly look at your faces i do not see defeat no and i do not see surrender you will not make the stand alone oh god they ruined the elites they ruined elites Okay, elite, uh, a, a USMC Marine should not be able to be a elite. Let's be real. Let's be real. Stand. That's stupid. The elites are just clumsy. They're just clumsy, bad CGI, bad design. They have this Halo 4 style design. Oh my God, dude. That doesn't even look like elites. Oh, what did they do to the design? Hello. We have something the enemy does not. We have heroes. And the battle ends. It's like all the voice actors sound the same. They just all sound the same. What is up with this generic? Hey, let's choose the most generic guy with a with a British accent that we could possibly find. Okay, remember Halo games that had a variety of voice actors that all sounded different. Oh no, let's just throw that out the window and just hire people who sound exactly the same, act exactly the same. Yeah, who who, who wants to watch this? Yeah, sure, it's Halo, and if you're a Halo fan, you're like. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to watch this. But it's, the storyline's trash. Realistically, if you have a brain, Halo died years ago. Nobody cares about Halo anymore. Nobody. They just call it a victory. And say it was because of me. Because of something I did. Or something you are. Something you can't see. I can't, I can't even watch this. This is just watching my favorite. Like, Halo was, was my favorite franchise, the old Halo games. I put as many hours into Halo C, Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo Reach as more than any other game by far. It was my favorite game. But once Halo 4 came out, I couldn't even get through the game. I was like, oh my god, this is so boring. Oh, oh, what did they do? It was the first Halo game I couldn't even finish. I couldn't even finish. I didn't even bother playing the multiplayer. And and in Halo 4, you're running out of ammo like every five seconds. So it's just a bad game, really. It, it, it's 343 making these movies. Is 343 having any part in these movies? Because... If so, that wouldn't surprise me because the character design is just ugly, ugly. Everything's dark, ugly. You know, look at the old Halo games. Halo isn't supposed to be ugly. OK, Halo was never supposed to be ugly. Look at Halo CE. It was vibrant. OK, what is up with this? Every time they put Halo into live action, they always make everything ugly, dark, grim. No, no. Halo was never supposed to be like that. Oh my God, like basic concepts. They just completely forget about the basics of Halo and turn it into this generic sci-fi garbage. Yeah, I'm going to stop the video here because I might have a freaking stroke watching this. It's just destroying my brain cells and it's really just cringe. Just, just You have to have like an IQ under 80 in order to enjoy this slot okay and it, 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 
play the old Halo games. If you're a true fa Halo fan, you'd be playing the old Halo games. You would not be watching this. You would not be supporting this. You would not be excited for this. You would not be paying for this. You would not even watch the full trailer. See, I, I didn't watch the full trailer. So, yeah. You would just ignore these new Halo games. Just ignore these new Halo concepts. These new Halo books. Because they're all trash.